Good evening. I'm glad you could join us for prayer. We've been going through the healing scriptures in Mark, and we've finished all the healing texts in Mark. And so we're moving on to the Gospel of Matthew. And this is the first healing text in Matthew that does not um, follow those in, in the Gospel of Mark. It's from Matthew 8, 5 through 13. When he entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, appealing to him and saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed in terrible distress. And he said to him, I will come and cure him. The centurion answered, Lord, I'm not worthy to, re to have you come under my roof, but only speak the word and my servant will be healed. For I am also a man under authority with soldiers under me, and I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes, and to my slave, do this, and the slave does it. When Jesus answered him, he was amazed and said to those who followed him, Truly I tell you, in no one in Israel have I found such faith. I tell you, many will come from east and west and will eat with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. While the heirs of the kingdom will be thrown into the outer darkness, where they will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And to this centurion, Jesus said, Go, let it be done for you according to your faith. And the servant was healed within the hour. I invite you to join me in prayer. Close your eyes and breathe in deeply. And breathe out. I invite you to breathe in. And breathe out, letting go of all the tension that's in your shoulders and in your back and in your legs and arms. Breathe in. Release it. But only say the word. But only say the word and they will be healed. But only speak the word. I'm used to being in control. As the commander of a unit of soldiers, I'm used to people following my orders. When I tell them march, they march, they march. But none of that matters to me right now in this moment. I'm powerless. I don't know how to make it better. I feel helpless. My servant, I care for him, love him. But there is nothing I can do. We have been to every doctor, healer, snake charm salesman. We have tried potions and baths and pills and bleeding. Nothing has made a difference. The last one just patted me on the shoulder. He is so ill close to death. In my position, I've started to hear rumors, stories, rumors about this new faith healer. So I use my pull. I talk to leaders of the local synagogue. I asked them to speak to Jesus for me. They pleaded my case. They convinced him to come and see my servant. Someone came to me to tell me they were on the way. I walked outside and saw them in the distance. I sent my friends with a message. Don't trouble yourself. We aren't worthy of a visit. You shouldn't be under my roof. And as he was talking to my friends, he stood still listening. He looked away from them. He looked at me. As my friend spoke, he looked at me. Even though he couldn't hear me, I prayed. But only speak the word and let my servant be healed. But only speak the word and let my servant be healed. But only speak the word and let them be healed. Oh God, oh Jesus, we ask you to speak the word to the people of Beirut, Lebanon. We ask you to speak the word to the places with fires raging. We ask you to speak the words where the waters of flood pour forth. We ask you to speak the word where the storms rage. We ask you to speak the word for those infected with COVID-19. We ask you to speak the word for those we love who are in pain, in distress, full of anxiety and fear. We ask you to speak the word for those we love who are ill. Let them be healed. But only speak the word, Lord. We ask you to speak the word. We ask you to speak the word and, and be with our government officials, our school board members, as they try to make sense of what to do. 
We ask you to protect those, those going to school. We ask you to guide their hands, those leaders and school board officials, that they make the right choices, that nobody dies. And if they do, we ask you then make them strong enough to then make a wise decision. Oh God, we ask you to be with our children, surround them and care for them. We ask you to guide us as we have to make the correct decision, the safe decision, the right decision for our family. We're struggling with what that is and what it means. Guide us, oh God. Speak the word to us that we may know your will, that we may be healed. But only speak the word and let them be healed. But only speak the word and let them be healed. Amen.